Can you believe, look at this, I forgot my root shirt. Ah! Can you do that? Ah! Yeah, actually, I did forget it. I had it packed, and then I brought Pastor Kate home to hang out with our kids for a little bit, and I left it in the bag that I brought home with her. And so, yep, you got me in my church shirt. I'm working here at the church, and we'll, anyway... That's why I'm wearing this. In case you're wondering, like, wait a second, Pastor Josh isn't wearing his root shirt. I'm not. That's why. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about why the cross. We're going to learn something that Jesus did that I'm so excited about when he died on the cross. And, oh, I, I, can't, give, I can't give it away. You want to know? I'm not going to tell you. not going to tell you yet. Well, yet. I'll tell you in a little bit. Oh, well... Hit the heart button if you want me to tell you right now. Oh, you do? Oh, no, 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 no. Can't do it. Nope, can't do it. Ah, uh, uh, no, no. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll give you a hint. It's something that Jesus did after he died. What? He did stuff after he died? Can you even do that? Yes, you can. God has a plan for you. Too. Uh, we're gonna, it's, uh, I don't want to get it. That's crazy. That's crazy. We're not going to talk about that. That's crazy. But I do want to talk about is declarations. Oh yeah, let's do that right now. Hi everyone, welcome to declarations. My name is Arnold Palmer and I got my friend Wyatt here. We're gonna do declarations right now. All right, so the first declaration, Wyatt, do you remember what that is? Uh-huh. What is it? God is a good God. Oh yeah, God is a good God. Let's say that on three, ready? One, two, three. God, God is, is a, a good God. God. Woohoo! All right. Now, declaration number two is Jesus' blood paid for everything. Let's all say that together. On three. One, two, three. Jesus' blood paid for everything. Woohoo! I'm so happy. I'm so glad he did. Can you do a happy dance right now for Jesus' blood paying for everything? <laughs> Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Declaration number three. Do you remember what that is, Wyatt? Um, I am important. Yeah, that's right. I am important. All right, on three, let's say it. One, two, three. I, I am, am important. important. All right, we got one last one. Do you remember what it is? Uh, anything is possible. Woohoo! All right, let's say that together on three. One, two, three. Anything, Anything is possible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining us for Declarations. I'll see you again later. Bye. Bye. All right, so you ready to get into it? I'm so excited to tell you about what Jesus accomplished after he died. How crazy is that? All right, so here's where we left off last week, right? He was, he was on the cross. He said, it is finished, and then he died. Now, the Bible says, you know this, right? That after he died, that they put him in a tomb, and three days later, he rose from the dead. So what was he doing? Do you think he was just twiddling his thumbs? I can't wait to get out of the tomb. I can't wait to get out of the tomb. Think he was doing that? Give me a big thumbs up if you think so. Give me a wow face, this one. If you're like, no way. No, he wasn't doing that, was he? You knew it. Good job. Air high five right here. Oh, yeah. 
No, after Jesus died, the Bible tells us that Jesus conquered the devil, he defeated the devil, and he took the keys of sin and death from him. Oh yeah, he earned that back. He took those, he's like, hey, Mr. Devil Man, I'm going to take you down. And Mr. Devil Man's like, oh no, you can't take me down. I'm a little rough, tough guy. And uh, Jesus is like, oh yeah? Bing. And he's like, oh! And he was defeated. I don't think it took Jesus much. He's pretty powerful. He's God. Devil, not so much. So after Jesus died, he conquered the devil and took the keys of sin and death from the devil. Check out what it says. This is one of our, I'm gonna do two verses today. Two verses, can you do two fingers? Say two, 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 two. two. Oh yeah, we're gonna do two verses. This is Hebrews two. 14, and it says, only by dying could Jesus break the power of the devil who had the power of death. Guess what? Jesus conquered the devil, he defeated the devil, and he broke all his power. Can you do a break, like, can you do that with your hands, like you're breaking some sticks? You know what would be really fun after this class? If you went out in the backyard, see if you could find some sticks, and, and just how easy it is for you to break those sticks. That's how easy it was for Jesus to do that. And guess what? Even if it's not easy for you, it was still easy for Jesus. And he totally broke the power of the devil. Here's the other verse I was gonna tell you about. This is Revelation chapter one, verse 18. This is Jesus talking. He says, I am alive forevermore and I have the keys of death. Guess what? Here's our thing we wanna say. Jesus left the devil Powerless. Oh, let me see your best weak face. Or weak. What would it look like to be super, 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 super weak? Oh, I like it. I like it. All right, give me a big thumbs up or a heart button right now if you're ready to do this with me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, stand up then. Stand up. Let's do it. Jesus, and then point up, left the devil. Point down. Powerless. This is my powerless. Well, let me see your powerless again. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's do it all together. Ready? Jesus left the devil powerless. Oh, I'm so weak. Oh. That's, that's how the, Jesus left the devil. All right, let's say it one last time. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus left the devil Powerless. All right, welcome to Play-Doh Creations. We're gonna have a lot of fun today, so grab your Play-Doh or your modeling clay, whatever it is, and open that up. All right, so now we only need about, we only need a little bit of what's here, all right? We're gonna make a few different shapes though and put them all together to make something pretty cool. Now, if you have a pencil, you might wanna do, you grab one of those, or if you have some Play-Doh toys, you might need some of those today also. I, I Best would be if you have a pencil and a butter knife, if your mom and dad would let you use a butter knife or some kind of tool to cut it. We're just gonna use a pencil today because it's nice and safe. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull it apart. You're gonna need a small piece and a big piece. All right, but not super small, about close to the same size, but one's gotta be a little bit smaller, all right? You got it? All right, put the big piece down. I'm gonna start with the easiest part right now. Ready? Go in a circle to make a sphere. Go in a circle to make a sphere. That's how we get our ball every time. We start almost every time with a ball, and then we're gonna squish it flat. All right. I like it, I like it. And now, what we're gonna do, pick it up. We're gonna grab a pencil. You want this one? And I'll grab one. And we're gonna poke a hole right through the middle of it. So it looks kinda like 
a wheel. Yours look like a wheel? Mm-hmm. Kinda. All right, now put that down because we're not building a wheel, we're building something else. Now, with this one, we're gonna make a bigger circle and then cut some parts off, ready? So, go in a circle to make a sphere. Go in a circle to make a sphere. Oh, mine's kind of oblong. And you know what, actually, oblong or oval shaped is actually better, all right? So now we're gonna squish this one flat. Now, here's where having a knife would really come in handy. We're gonna, on one side, we're gonna try cut a straight line off of it. I'm gonna do it with my pencil. I just keep poking the Play-Doh until it kind of separates out there. How's yours going? Good. Good, all right, I'm gonna pull that off. It looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna push any pokies back in. I don't need this anymore. Let's put that in there. I like it. Now on the opposite side, which side is the opposite side, Wyatt? Uh, this side. You're right. So if you just made a line on this side, the opposite side would be as far away from that line that you just made. That would be the opposite. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to cut it Kind of a straight line for now we're actually going to do a little bit more here in just a second all right i got enough pokes to be able to rip it don't need that anymore now i'm gonna push those pokies in why what shape did we make um, a square well a rectangle a rectangle that's right so now we're going to put the two together, the wheel and the rectangle. Kind of squish them together here. Flip mine over so it actually squishes in good. All right. Now just put the circle on one end. Can you guess what we're making yet? Mm, no. Not yet? Looks like a bubble blower. A bubble blower, ooh, good guess. Now, if you have a knife, again, you'll want to cut little triangles in, but I'm just gonna push with my pencil here. Make some spots here. Just on the one side. All right, what is it starting to look Whoa, like? Oh, a saw. Oh, close. Close, actually it does kind of look like a saw, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's not what we're building. Think a little smaller, kind of shaped like a saw. Something like this. Put it in, turn it, oh, so that you can key, get in key, places you key. couldn't go. Yeah, we made a key. Does it look like a key? Now that you know what we're building, you can do a little bit more and see if you can make it look even more like a key. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take my end here, and I'm gonna use my, my pencil make a pointy end because most of my keys have a pointy end on one side. But that kind of makes it look even more like a saw. But it's not a saw, this is a key. I think we built pretty cool looking keys. I like it. Do you know why we built a key? To unlock God's secrets. Ooh, good guess. We actually built a key because the Bible says that when Jesus died, Jesus went down, kicked some devil booty, and took the keys of sin and death away from the devil. So we don't have to be scared of sin or sickness or death anymore because who's got all the keys to that? Jesus. Jesus. Jesus has the key for us to walk in healing every day. He's got the key for us to live in life, have a great life every day. He took the keys away from the devil and left him powerless. That's pretty awesome. And that's why we built a key. All right, well, thanks for joining us for Play-Doh Creations. We'll see you all later. Bye. Bye. I love making that key. Wasn't that so much fun? Give me a big thumbs up or a heart button if you love those Play-Doh creations. Did you have fun making a key? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I knew you would.
That one is so fun and it looks really cool when you're done. You know what? I would love for your parents to upload a picture to Facebook of you with your Play-Doh key. And if they could take Root Bible, that would be awesome. So I really, that way I can find it and be easy for me to see. And I really want to see your really cool Play-Doh creation. That would be so fun. All right. Now, let's do this one last time. Ready? Jesus left the devil powerless. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's do it one last time. Okay. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus left the devil powerless. <laughs> hey, you know what? It actually talks about that a little bit in our memory verse rap that we've been dancing to. Check this out. Welcome to the memory verse challenge. We're looking for the best dancers. Are you going to be one of them? Stand up right now and get ready. We're going to start this song right now. Let me see those dance moves. about Jesus paid the price for all of our healing. We never have to be scared of getting sick ever again because Jesus paid the price for us to always be healthy. We just have to tell the devil what to do with his sickness. And guess what? He also left the devil powerless. Okay, let's do it one last time. Ready? One, two, three. Jesus left the devil powerless. <laughs> yeah, nice job. If you have fun doing that, hit the hard button. Let me see. I want to see the hard buttons. As many as you can do right now. Let me see them. Awesome. Yeah, I think that is so fun. And it is so true. We don't have to be scared of sickness. We don't have to be scared of the devil. We don't have to be scared of anything because Jesus has already defeated them all. Hey, kids. My name is Arnold Palmer, and I just got to tell you something. You know, I was afraid of this coronavirus for a while. I was scared of sickness, maybe coming to my family, or hurting someone, or maybe even death. But now, because I know who Jesus is and what he's done in my life, I don't have to be scared anymore. I don't have to be scared of sickness. I don't have to be scared of the devil. I don't have to be scared of death. I don't have to be scared of anything because Jesus is bigger in me. God defeated the devil. He is bigger than the devil and he totally took care of him. And so now I can just have fun and trust in him every single day because of who he is. That's why I'm one of the reasons I love God so much. He's done so much for me. I just can't get over it. I think he is so cool. And I love that I never have to be afraid. So now, even when those thoughts come, do I have to be afraid? What do you think? Give me a thumbs up if yes. And give me a, um, give me the wow if no. You're right. I don't have to be afraid anymore. Even if I start to feel scared, I don't have to be scared because I just remind myself of how awesome Jesus is and what he's already done in my life. I think that is so cool. I'm just going to go have a party dance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woohoo. Woohoo. We don't have to be scared of sickness. We don't have to be scared of the devil. We don't have to be scared of anything because Jesus has already defeated them all. All. We can always enjoy his love and his peace and his patience and everything good that he is because he can live on the inside. So why don't we do that right now? Let's pause for a second 
And if you've never given control of your life to Jesus, then grab your mom and dad and we're going to all do it together. Your mom and dad probably have done this already, but if not, they could do it with us too. That'd be super cool, wouldn't it? But if, even if they have done it, they're going to love being with you when you pray this prayer with me right now. And that's really what all it does. We have to believe in our heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and we're going to say with our mouths, Jesus, I love you and I'm going to follow you every day. And then we're going to be able to have an amazing relationship with Jesus, a real one, where you get to talk to him and he's going to talk back to you in your heart. And it gets to be so super cool getting to do all these really cool, fun Jesus adventures that sometimes seem crazy and sometimes seem awesome and sometimes you don't know if you're going to be able to do it or not but that's because Jesus is going to do it through you and that's so awesome so if you want if you have not done this before go grab your mom and your dad and then we're going to do this all together we're going to pray this prayer in just a second so here's what I want you to do if you're going to pray this prayer with me I want you to bow your heads and close actually you know what I want you to do before you do that I want you to hit the thumbs up button right now. The Bible says that we, he wants us to tell everyone that we're going to follow him. And so this is one way we're going to do it on this video. So if you want to make that choice today, hit the thumbs up button while your mom and dad are there so they can see, yep, we're going to make this choice today. All right, and now what I want you to do is fold your hands and close your eyes just so that you don't get distracted by the people around you, okay? And then say this prayer. So what you're going to do is you're going to say what I'm saying, but I want you to really think about what you're saying and really mean it with all your heart. You ready? Dear Jesus, I thank you. And I love you a lot. I choose to follow you and do the things that you like every day. Thank you, God, for coming into me and making me brand new on the inside. You are so good to me. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am so glad. I'm super happy for those of you that prayed that prayer for the very first time. It's so awesome. Did you know the Bible says that the angels are up in heaven celebrating that choice? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, that is it for me today. I am so glad you joined and we got to learn about Jesus defeated the devil. Let's do it one last time before we go, okay? Jesus. Wait, on the, let's do it on the count of three. I, you weren't ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. On the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus left the devil powerless. Awesome. Nice job. I'll see you next week. And hopefully I get to see you in Root Bible Academy online. That'd be super awesome. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>